And staying with the nuclear deadlock, Arirang's Oh Jung-hee now tells us what Kim Jong-un's possible next move could be following his first face-to-face -face with Russian President Vladimir Putin last week. With the summit with Russian President Vladimir Putin complete, what move will the North Korean leader make next? One possibility is Chinese President Xi Jinping visiting Pyongyang for a summit with Kim Jong-un within the next two or three months. Kim and Xi have had four summits in total, three last year and one in January. In North Korean state media reported in January that Xi accepted Kim's invitation to visit North Korea and notify the North of his plans for it, implying that their discussions were quite specific. Observers suggest that North Korea will continue to coordinate with China and Russia to strengthen its leverage against the U.S. North Korea is coming up with ways to pressure the U.S. so that it can strike the deal it wants by the end of this year. But at the same time, it's also aware that its negotiation with the U.S. may eventually break down. To prepare for that scenario, the North is leaving room for coalition with China and Russia afterwards. North Korea wouldn't shun the dialogue momentum with South Korea and the U.S., experts say. But the North is rather waiting for Seoul and Washington to take actions before the deadline is set, the year's end. Pyongyang has fired Kim Yong-chul, who's been the key man in charge of communicating with Seoul and Washington. It's at the same time ramping up criticisms against South Korea for its joint drills with the U.S. The North also has not responded to Seoul's proposal of having another summit, and South and North Korean directors of the Joint Liaison Office have not met for over two months. Meanwhile, North Korea is looking to diversify its diplomatic relations. Wrapping up its summit with Moscow, Pyongyang sent its vice foreign minister on a trip to Syria, Iran, Azerbaijan and Mongolia, the member states of the non-aligned movement on Saturday. Oh Jong-hee, Arirang News.